Okay, we're coming in the front door. This is the office study, and uh, we don't expect to see much in a lot of the downstairs ceilings, simply because we have upstairs above us. So, um, but we're just covering all of our bases here. They're coming through the registers and checking out our smoke alarms, which, by the way, there is not a smoke alarm in the office study, and... Um, the local code is probably okay with that, but um, I think there should be a smoke alarm. And I'm relying on the instructions that come with the smoke alarms on where to place them. And from those instructions, they say every bedroom, outside of every bedroom, okay, the upstairs common area, downstairs common area, and um, so is the office study a common area or is it that requires a smoke alarm for itself because it has doors? Or could it be used as a bedroom because closets are not required in bedrooms? So there's lots of different reasons. That I, I, you know, the way I interpret the instructions is that room should have a smoke alarm. We're in the laundry now. Okay, kind of moving through here. Now we're in the great family room. And um, we're going to start seeing some different things because we've, we've run out of upstairs. So this is our ceiling, what it really looks like down here. And then if you'll look, these are air supply registers, the nice blue jobs over the kitchen bar, over the kitchen peninsula. And um, all the heat registers that we're reading Okay, it means the, those registers were not in their transition points where they moved through the walls, they were not insulated properly. And then we got a big spot right there where the insulation is just lacking, and uh, I'm just not sure what that's about. But on into the kitchen, this is thermal, okay, the thermal bridging. And you probably got a little more thermal bridging than you normally would have in this house because this house does not have soffit baffles. So, something to think about. So we got a bedroom up here. So this, this should be some fresh area. And of course, we'll get to see in our thermal bridging. <clears throat> we're in the primary bedroom now. And we're gonna go into the primary bathroom now. By the way, this camera does not let me take long videos for some reason. So you're probably going to see two videos of our interior tour. Okay, let's get on upstairs and see if we can see some action. Moving on up. There's our attic ladder and it's glowing pretty hot. And it is sealed. A tent would work better, but better than that would be a, a ventilated attic, which you do not have. There's three bedrooms upstairs. So this would be the northeast bedroom right here. And I get it, the air is coming out of the register, and that's kind of cool. Is it blowing against the wall at all? Kind of yes and kind of no. That's wet. That's been measured to have moisture in it. So, there's that. When I come on across over here, in the other bedroom, I see a similar area. I just can't see anything. Again, massive amounts of thermal imaging. Now this bedroom has a
eight done. I'm not supposed to have a thermostat.